When there's no real democracy, the population hangs on to existing structures. But what was the existing structure in the deep countryside? What was the only structure which was more or less organized and listened to their wishes? Well, of course it was the church. So paradoxically, and I know I'll shock the lakes and the Republicans, but in our country, I'm sorry, but the most important political party was the church. So now, at this critical moment, Madagascar has two presidents, two prime ministers and two governments. Mark Ravalomanana holds the island center, and he believes he's the legitimate president. Didier Ratsiraka has the coasts and also claims to be the legal president. It's a thin line between a political crisis and civil war. The dynamics of violence and the exaction of personal vengeance begin to augment. Nobody really expected that. Nobody was prepared for this violence. It was a total surprise, and we weren't prepared for such a violent confrontation. In the countryside, when the partisans of Mark Ravalomanana gathered to show their support, the militia of Didier Ratiraka were never far away. They suffered blows from truncheons, knife attacks, and were stoned. Ethnic divisions resurfaced with a vengeance. Confrontations between the peoples of the center of the island and those of the coastal regions. The properties of the supporters of Mark Ravalomanana were burned and pillaged. We have to tell the entire world that those who destroy and those who help them are the enemies of this country. So from today, they will be hunted down without pity wherever they can be found. The witch hunt begins. The walls of Antananarive are covered with posters giving the names and addresses of sympathizers of the former government, so they could be tracked down by the people. The response is immediate. Supporters of Mark Ravalomanana, who has claimed his right in law and denounced the dictatorship of Ratiraka and his friends, use the same vengeful tactics. The associates of the Red Admiral are persecuted. Their properties are pillaged and burned without mercy. Some found their revenge in personal disputes with the aid of a hunting rifle. Mm -hmm. 